which version is right for you. Dataclase Templator is awesome when it comes down to volume rendering. Let's say you have a template that you want to render out with different data. The look is the same, but you're changing out player's name, their headshot, what have you. This is perfect for Dataclase Templator. So you've seen me do some tutorials and you see the value, but maybe you're unsure of which version is right for you between Rig, Pro, and Bot. So that's what we're gonna cover today. I also have talked to Dataclay and worked out some pricing that we can offer you to help get you started. So before we jump in, I do also wanna point out that you can download a free 30-day trial right here on their website. The trial begins immediately and the output assets are watermarked. So I just wanna call that out. So first up is Rig. Rig is really the base of Dataclase Templator and is the only one that you can get a perpetual license for. Pro and Bot require a monthly subscription of a minimum of one month. So as the name says, Rig will allow you to rig up assets and tie them to a spreadsheet, but when you go into render, you can only render one at a time. So say you have multiple people working on a project. If the person does not need to have rendering powers, Rig is a great option for that license because they can add Templator to certain layers and set it up in order to use it in Pro or Bot. So I'm gonna use my NFL draft example that I showcased a couple months ago. And Rig will give you all of this capability to rig it up to add the effect data clay templator settings onto a given layer, and it will allow you to cycle through your assets as well. But if you do this, you are gonna have to render like you usually would. Go to add render queue and spit out each asset by itself. And just for watching this video, if you would like to get started with Templator Rig, we're offering a 95% off perpetual license using Baller FX Rig Promo, which I'll leave in the description below, and use that when you check out and you'll get 95% off of Rig. With Pro, you get the same functionality as Rig, but with the advantage of being able to do more batch rendering, which I'll show here in a minute. And this is where the other pricing option comes in. So Dataclay removed small business pricing from their website, but that doesn't mean that you still can't qualify for that. The legacy price is $100 a month. So if you have questions, please check out that end user license agreement link in the description below. And if you do qualify, feel free to reach out to Dataclay at support at dataclay.com. And in the subject line, write Baller FX tutorial, and they will work with you to make that determination. So Pro is perfect when you have a database. Your studio has multiple artists who need to work on the same project, master composition, and you wanna be able to use desktop publishing in order to make this happen. So it comes, everything with Rig is also in Pro. Within Pro, you now have the ability to batch replicate master compositions or render master compositions with some custom output naming. So when you're in here, let me pull up my data source actually. Let's go over to here. Because my data source has all of this data and I have, let's see, it goes from line two to line 16. So I have 15 rows of data outlined here in my spreadsheet. If I open After Effects, I have already linked my data source and my footage. And if you have questions about this, I've created other tutorials. And within my preferences, I've highlighted that I want the NFL draft to be my primary comp that gets rendered. So I can step through all of my rows, just like we were able to do with Rig. But with Pro, what I was calling desktop publishing, we have this start and we have this finish. So these correlate to the rows in my spreadsheet. So I have two and 16. So two and I'm just gonna make this eight so you can see what this looks like. When I have all this laid out, 
Pro gives me the ability to render everything within this range. So if I hit render now, you're going to see all my rows start to populate and render. And this would be a great option for teams who want to go through and, and spit out a ton of headshots. Or something that you have templated that you want to quickly go through and render. You have it set up and you have your data put into your spreadsheet and you just want to be able to hit render and have everything just go. Maybe while you go to lunch or something so it works while you're gone. This pro option is going to be a great option for you. So rig is the base of Dataquace Templator that will give you some base functionality to rig up your content. You have to render one by one. Pro takes that a step further and allows you to do some batch rendering on your desktop, and Bot takes it all the way. And this is gonna be the most advanced version if you're running scripts, if you're capable of, of integrating into a command line interface control, or if you're using Q another product by Data Clay. The bot is actually what I've shown because of the capabilities to be able to enable a bot and then go into my data source. And if I mark these as ready, once these change to ready, they can automatically kick off. So let's go into my After Effects project. And if I hit enable bot, it'll take just a minute to pick up those first two. And let me add my source here. So we can see when it picks up. All right, so it picked up to queued and processing. So we're going back and it's going through and rendering. And now it's on to the second one. So the bot's gonna give you much more automation capabilities if you're working with a developer or have the ability to create this. And maybe you're setting this up so that someone in the marketing department can change something on the spreadsheet. And then once they hit ready, then it autom automatically kicks off. Maybe you're using Q, maybe you have a different computer set up to handle the After Effects project and run in the background so that everything automatically works as they enter different data so that things can continue to move without having you as the middle piece. So once again, the quick rundown is rig is the base element that you can use either as someone who doesn't have a rendering license, like the pro or the bot on their machine, but they need to set up a composition to be used and leveraged by Templator. Pro is great if you would like to get into desktop publishing or if you have batch renders that you want to execute, like headshots and sports in particular, anything that's templated that you can quickly change out and update using a Google Sheet and run while you go to lunch while your computer just continues to spin through those renders and work, maybe even, maybe even overnight. And then Bot is going to be the option if you want more control, more automation with command line interface, maybe you're using Q from Data Clay and you wanna be able to automate some of these templates or allow you, you to work with your marketing team and, and give them access to the spreadsheet so they can fill it out, update it, and then it automatically kicks off a render once they change the data within the spreadsheet. So. A lot of different options here. I wanted to highlight the core differences here for you so you can choose the right one. 